given the recent news about Khalees and Nas, I'm going to address a subject that is not only paramount, but can often help others avoid those same pitfalls. It's something that we should take account of every day. But not just in YouTube, but life in general. It's obviously that uh, common sense is not a common virtue. So today I'm going to talk about red flags. Now using this example, when I've heard Khalees' music and at times it's an oxymoron, um, just about the subject matter she talks about. Uh, her referring to herself as bossy or how much she hates a dude right now hearing that bullshit I would have 86 to her a long time ago if I was Nas but that's his situation and like I said as us being men there are consequences that follow our decisions When you look at the Chris Brown situation, I know people like to side with Rihanna and say Chris was a bad man, and I know that's all too easy, but I beg to differ. You see, there's often two sides of a story. She might have been crazy, or there's something that just went on that happened in the car that just led to that nonsense so if you're hoping for me to give her a pussy pass or anyone else it's been hereby revoked but back to the subject at hand we're talking about red flags of course when I'm out here dating I can be very discerning about what I'm looking for as should everyone else because it's commonplace for people to send their representatives and they'll act right for about 60 to 90 days maybe in six months but the real them is going to pop out eventually and that's something that bothers me at times to where people are comfortable throwing on masks they build relationships built on lies and they wonder why shit falls apart. Out the gate, I'm going to be observing. We're going to have a conversation. And if I had to bring W-2s to dinner, you're a gold digger. And I can't fuck with you. If you're one of these trophies or beautiful retards which I will explain in the next uh, submission you're not worth my time because when it all comes down to it your time is your most precious asset you don't get a second chance you invested in poor people you reap what you sow Look at Nas. Look at Chris Brown. Look at a legion of people who are either catching hell in the courtroom without even getting a reach around. Or just life in general. But back to my point. There are certain things out there that you just have to wave the bullshit flag on. Hygiene. If I go to your house and the interior looks like a hamper with a roof on it, or someone just carpet bombed the shit out of your living room or house or bedroom, and you're seeing sanitary napkins, a bra that has brown rings in the inside of it, or a female that has panties that has a brown mohawk in the middle of it. Chances are, 
I'm going to blow the whistle and say unnecessary bullshit half the distance to the door. Fuck you. Also, when it comes to conversation, what is the highlight for this person? Is it money? Do you sense baggage? Or do you sense bullshit? I know that's a general statement, but then again, I only have a limited time to cover this. The point of it is, we need to really assess what we're getting into. You gotta, des- you gotta decide if, if that person is fucking with you because of who you are or what you are and what you can give them you see when it comes to females there's a great number of them who fall in love with your net worth and not your actual worth they want to see how much you earn and not what you can give If you're one of these ankles who are not into character, common sense, honesty, and all the good attributes that men have to offer, you get what you pay for. You're an overpriced jump off. Some of you are just dusty trophies, horn yourself out for attention or worse. Same thing with these fellas. If you have to pay for pussy, trust me, it's overinflated. Well, the price anyway. I think I'm going to dig deeper into this subject because there's a whole bunch of flags out there that need to be covered. I'll stand by for part two. This is Ronan Soul 75. I will be back.